Welcome to sample problem three in our module six on hypothesis testing. And this of yours is subtitled Aardvarks on the Loose, Ho and Ha. Welcome to H naught and HA, the null and the alternate hypothesis brought to you by the infamous Texas A&M University Commerce, Dr. Dog. Well, we're going to do another problem in wildlife, and in this one we have a population of rogue albino Hungarian banded aardvarks. Now, notice carefully that I have put this back properly. It's not albino banded Hungarian, but albino Hungarian banded. Made a little mistake in the last problem, but they've infiltrated North Texas, and they have overcome the population of native Texas spotted aardvarks. Now, Cletus and Junior fear that the albino Hungarian banded aardvarks now compose more than the 65% of the local aardvark population claimed by the Texas Department of Parks and Wildlife. A random sample of local aardvarks yielded 45 of 64 that were albino Hungarian banded aardvarks. Help Cletus and Junior test the state's claim at a 95% level of significance. Some neat things here. The state has made a claim of 65%. Cletus and Junior fear that it, the real number is actually more than this. Pretty interesting. We have an R of 45 out of a sample with an N of 64, and we're interested in a 95% level of significance. Well, before we go too far, let's just go to work on the problem. Just dive right in. Back ears and dive in. Step one, the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is the claim. Uh, the Parks and Wildlife Department here in Texas claims that 65% of the local aardvark population are um, albino Hungarian banded aardvarks. So H naught P equals 65%. Now the alternate hypothesis is what Cletus and Junior fear. They fear that the true proportion is actually greater than 65%. They think it's more than 65%. Uh, we need to find our critical value. We have a large sample because N is 64. We have a 95% level, and it's a one-tailed test based upon this P is greater than. Now, what we need to do here is begin to construct a picture. We start out, we know that, that mu is, the mu, uh, P rather is, uh, has a Z-score of zero. And we're going to be looking for a critical value out here, so it's going to be positive. And this is the fail to reject H0 region, and this is the reject H0 region. And of course, our uh, Z critical value is 1.645, which allows 95% out here and 5% to the right. Now, in order to solve this, we've got to calculate some things. We need to know P hat which is 45 divided by 64. We know that Q hat is 1 minus this amount, and N is 64. And look at our problem. Our test statistic is our effect size, which is the difference of P hat from P, divided by the standard error, which in this case is the square root of P hat Q hat divided by N. We plug in our values, and we come up with P hat 0 0.703125 minus P, which was claimed, 0 0.65, divided by the square root of 0 0.73125 times 0 0.296875 over 64. And of course, when we solve that, our z-test statistic is 0 0.93. And if we look at where that falls in our diagram, it falls way down here. And what do you think your conclusion would be? Well, you're correct. It's failed to reject H0. So we need to put that into words now. And the sample taken by Cletus and Junior indicates that the 65% figure proposed by the Texas Department of Parks and Wildlife may indeed be correct. Cletus and Junior, you're just out of luck. I hate it, but you're out of luck. Welcome back to the dog cave, and notice how open my eyes are. My good friend Floyd tells me that I'm recording these with my eyes closed. Floyd, do you see my open eyes? My eyes are opened, and they're opened in regard to the true percentage of albino Hungarian banded aardvarks, which are loose in the state of Texas. Kind of a neat problem, wasn't it? Hang on, more aardvarks to come.